Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Woody Dude. Uh, let me start off by saying I'm very happy and excited of how well received my first video came on the release of Wilson, or at least my version of Wilson. Um, I really wasn't sure how it was gonna be received. I didn't know if people were gonna hate it and think I was, you know, like stomping on Etho's toes or if they were gonna like it, but I'm glad you guys liked it. You know, it means a lot to me and. You know, all that support really, you know, it kind of motivates a guy, you know, I, I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm back. Um, I'm here to do a couple different tutorial videos on how I got this big guy to work. Um, it's kind of a lot. I'm going to try to do the best I can and explain it the best way. Uh, but I, I think the easiest way to go about this is I'm going to do separate little videos on each different system in his body um just to kind of it, it so you can sort of specify what you're trying to build it, you know just to make it easier on you guys too um but yeah i'm gonna start with his face as you can tell by the title of the video um just because it's sort of what i started with when i first started building there was a couple different things that i started with as far as you know the the math behind his um different bars but yeah, the the face is sort of the most straightforward thing to go by just because it's just straight redstone. So I'm going to take you over to my uh, redstone world that I originally made the face on and I'll show you exactly how he works and then we'll go about how to build it. Okay, so yeah, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at my first Wilson face on my redstone world. Uh, he basically is kind of just set up as like a demonstration right now. It, it doesn't, he's not hooked up to anything. It's just the face itself. Uh, but it's just an easy way to show how he works. Uh, so we, I've already just said that his mouth is hooked up to his happiness and only his mouth. Uh, and that's displayed over here. But right now it's simulating that he's at full happiness and that he's as happy as can be. Uh, but right now I can take him down to six and nothing changes. Five, nothing changes, but then four, he goes to neutral face. So it follows exactly what is whatever his happiness is saying at the time. So I can break this and I'll go right back to happy. Oops. So then we can put it back to four. Neutral face. Three, still neutral face. And then two, bring him to a sad face. And one, he's just wicked uber sad, and zero, you just left him be, and now he's just terribly depressed. Way to go. Um, so yeah, but uh, then you have his eyes, which is simulated by how he, if he's sick or not. And that, I just have like a little lever up here to show. So as soon as he gets sick, that will activate, and now he's sick. So he can be sick while he's happy, or even neutral, or sad. So that's why I felt it was important to portray if he was sick, no matter what his mood was. I know a couple people suggested that he should always be sad when he's sick, but I mean, some people can still be happy when they're sick. You know, they don't have to necessarily be a sad sick. Um, but then you have the problem of the death face. So the death face can happen no matter when he's happy he's sick or no matter what so it has to work as somewhat of like an override so that's how this works even if he's happy if he runs out of health he's dead so it's really important to have some sort of break in the system which i'll show you how i did mine but no matter what so i can even while he's in his dead face i can change his mood which won't affect him while he's dead but as soon as he becomes alive he goes to neutral face because his happiness is at three miraculously or the same I could go to sad and then he dies but it'll always go to this face no matter what so that's important and like I said I'll show you how we did it so let's hop over to maybe another world and I'll show you how we build them so yeah let's go Okay, so now we're in a different world altogether. I figured it'd just be a lot easier just to make a different world so I'd have plenty of room to work with. Uh, but I just want everyone to keep in mind, too, that the, the redstone that goes behind his face tends to dip down, like, I would say four or five blocks about. So I would give yourself plenty of room to kind of dip down, or even if you want to put his face up high, I would, you know, that's always a good option, too. It's, it's all up to you. It's a, your own design. Um... 
Because a lot of the stuff that, that goes behind him is pretty arbitrary. I mean, it's just all depending on where you want to put it and how you want it to look. Uh, but yeah, the, the way I have his face set up definitely drops down at least four or five blocks. So I would, you know, like I said, mine down at least five or six blocks just to give yourself plenty of room. You'll notice in the video, too, that his face is two blocks higher than the platform that you stand on. And that is just because of how I wanted it designed. But you, if you mine behind it, like you saw in the video, too, you drop down five or six blocks. So just keep that in mind. Uh, just for the sake of trying to give myself plenty of room, I'm going to kind of build upwards, too. Let me just get, my, get up here or something. Um, so yeah, I'll build it up here. We'll start it there. Uh, so yeah, you'll want to start with a 7x7 grid of whatever block that you want his face to be made out of. Uh, it can be pretty much whatever block you want it to be, but as long as it's a block that can be moved by a piston. Uh, let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And once you build this, we can kind of plot out where all of the pistons are going to go behind his face to make his face muscles. Uh, one thing I did kind of notice early on in this build is that there's a couple things on his face that are completely static in every sort of facial structure he has. Mainly his pupils. Yes, his pupils actually never move in any of his faces. They're always protruding out of his face. So you can actually stick whatever pupils you want right on top of his face like that and you won't have to worry. Um, but for the rest of his facial muscles, you will have to kind of dig out which ones you want his face to be. But in this particular case, I'm going to show you which ones I did. So we're going to start with these three around each of his eyes there. And then this five by two grid right below here, like so. And that will be all the different muscles that you'll have to put in. Uh, next, what you'll have to do is put a sticky piston, not there, but here, get rid of that guy, um, behind each one of these open holes here in this direction. And it has to be a sticky piston, obviously. Um, but once you do that, I'll have to do the same thing here. Just put one there for the sake of speeding it up. That and that. Okay, so we'll get rid of these, and that is pretty much going to be his facial muscles. And you can actually just replace whatever block that you had there right now, and that's that. And now I'm going to go over how you start lining up the redstone behind there. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up his mouth. Uh, it's just kind of the easiest thing to set up, and it's actually the same design that Etho had come up with for his Wilson. Um, so what you're going to want to do is put a line of blocks behind the bottom row of pistons for his mouth. Um, diagonally down from those blocks, you're going to want to put another line of blocks. Uh, on top of those, you're going to want to put a repeater. Behind those repeaters, oops, you're going to want to put another row of blocks with a row of, or, you know, a set of redstone torches with another row of blocks on top of those. Um, on top of these repeaters, you can kind of just shift click on top. You're going to want to put another row of blocks with yet another row of repeaters facing outward from this line of blocks. And then you're going to want to put a line of blocks facing into the, or um, a block that this repeater can face into straight across. Uh, this is kind of like a neat little bud design that Etho came up with for his mouth. And basically how it works is you toggle on these blocks here. Let me get lever. Uh, it's, it's always a good idea when you're working with bud switches and stuff like that just to kind of toggle each one to get it reset properly. Um, but yeah, it, the way it works is this but or this uh, block up here rather gets powered. Doesn't necessarily power this piston. It buds it. But in order for it to toggle, it actually reads whatever this piston does down here. So when you power it via this repeater, it powers this piston and actually updates the piston above it. So whenever you toggle, this piston will change and will change this piston to whatever you've toggled here. It's just a way to kind of cheat in the redstone so that it works properly and that you can isolate each uh, vertical piston. Um, 
so yeah, it's it's a neat little design. That way you can kind of figure out which um, blocks you need to change in order to get a certain face, like a smile. So yeah, uh, we'll go over how to set up that uh, right now. Okay, so it's good that we have these blocks set up and that we're able to toggle his mouth at will, but we want to make it a little bit easier. We want to make it so that it's a lot easier to try and control his mouth. Instead of doing five levers, uh, we can knock it down to three. Uh, because we know by each one of the faces that we want to make, as far as happy, um, if we want to do sad, it's pretty much just the opposite. Just do that. Um, but we we know that each one of his faces that he wants to make or that he's rather he's going to make is going to be symmetrical so in order to make this a little easier on ourselves we can determine that if we want to toggle this torch this torch is also going to be activated and vice versa for this torch and this torch excuse me so in order to do that we can get rid of these levers here and to start off we can take two blocks and stick them out from these two ends here and you're going to want to put redstone dust on top of each one of those um, let's see let's see, you want to stick up one block down here so that you can put a repeater facing those two dust on either side like that and then in the middle here I was just using a lamp on both the example in here just to kind of make it so that you can easily tell whether it's on or not um, but yeah, as you can see, this will toggle both of the two outside torches here. Uh, but now we want to try and tackle these two torches here. Uh, the easiest way I found to do this is actually kind of work a little backwards. Um, essentially, you'd want like a vertical array to go one, two, three, but it kind of works like one, two, three. Uh, but it's uh, it's just how redstone works, man. Um, so uh, we want to put two blocks up or you want to make sure that this is two blocks up like this um, put a block on top of this repeater and this repeater uh, put a redstone dust on top of here but instead of this you want to make sure that it's a dot so you put some sort of blocker block blocker block there uh, on top of this little bit of redstone so that it kind of cuts off this connection you want to make sure that this is isolated from that um, I always use netherrack just because it's one of those blocks I would never use for an actual wire, so it's just easy to detect that it's blocking something else. Um, but then you want to take a block and put it on either side of these two blocks here, and then put a repeater going straight across like that. So now if I were to put a lever on top of this block here and toggle, you can see that it only toggles these two torches. Um, I can toggle these both on at the same time and do a weird face on the front or I can you know just do pretty much the frowny face. Is that frown? Yeah that's frown. Like that. Um, so now the last one that we need to tackle is the middle one and that's a little tricky and you, it doesn't really matter as far as the timing goes I'll show you as far as what I mean from that but the easiest way I found is to take a block put it two blocks down from the middle one there um, put another two blocks down below it put a redstone dust when a line two blocks away from it facing towards the face uh, put a block with right there with a torch on top of that a block on top of that and then another torch on top of that and that will toggle this so now if I were to put a torch uh, a lever here it'll toggle that middle piece so now we have a designated switch for each one of his faces and they're in a nice vertical line just like that ta-da but yeah, as far as everything goes is the uh, timing. The only thing that would be different is this middle bit here, just because it has the climbing redstone torches and uh, it adds an extra tick of delay. So what I've done here is I've just added an extra tick of delay to these repeaters here just to make everything even. I mean, like I said before, it's not necessary to its function. I mean, it's still going to work either way, but it just it makes it look a little bit better. It makes his mouth transition at the same time. 
um, which is nice. So that basically, whenever I toggle this block and this block at the same time, they'll toggle at the same time out front too. Uh, just, you know, little aesthetics there. Okay, so now from here we're going to want to put in our override system for when he dies. Uh, because no matter what mouth he's making, he's always going to have to make the dead mouth face. <laughs> dead mouth. Um, when he dies. So basically we'll just get rid of these. And the way I did it before is you put a block down below here. Um, you know, do it for each one here. And you're going to want to put a repeater on that block, bring another block out, and put a redstone dust on that. Um, and this is pretty much going to be your main input. The reason why it's because it's going to be affected by a couple different sources. It's going to be affected by your happiness and then also affected by your death, uh, you know, or Wilson's death. Um, so you're going to want to access it from both the right and the left side. Um, for the happiness, the way I did it in the demonstration, just to kind of uh, make sure that it worked correctly, was I put the happiness on this side. I mean, you'll notice that in the actual video, the, the happiness is over on this side of the face. But it, it's, it's, like I mentioned before, I hate to repeat myself, but it's completely arbitrary how you set it up. Um, if you want, you can put the happiness on this side. It's just you'd have to do everything backwards. Um, but yeah, so we're going to put the pistons down sort of like a toggle this is just an example how you can put it um, just sitting here breaking blocks uh, nope, one more back put a piston here and then you can put a block here and if you were to power this it pushes the piston in front of this redstone and you can use another block over here let's use pink like I did before for my the actual build um, and put a redstone repeater there to power this dust and voila you have your happiness input um, definitely takes a little bit but hey you know it's just like I said how redstone works um, we have that and then we also have access to over here for the death signal um, because what we can do is unpower this piston to take away any control of the happiness effect on yeah, uh, uh, Wilson's face and now have free reign to toggle whatever we need for his dead face conveniently you can actually just put a repeater right here and this will power both this redstone dust and this redstone dust and it just so happens to make his dead mouth so yeah it, it's and then what you can do from there is have this also toggle these pistons over here to turn off. I'll actually I'll, I'll set up this little array here. Um, what you can do is let's change this to black just to simplify and make sure it's all labeled correctly. Set up this down here so that they're one block apart from, or rather two blocks apart from each other. Is that? Yeah it's one block space. All right, you, you get it. Um, Put a uh, piston here. Um, we'll match this block. Oops. God, I'm misclicking like crazy. Put that there. And then we'll do the same over here just to match. Whoops. And voila. Okay. Um, so now, an easy way to do this, you can actually put it like uh, a couple of redstone dusts there. Um, but you can you, you, all you have to do is just make sure that you toggle every one of these for one switch So the way I did it was you can just put a repeater here a Repeater here so that they're all toggled like that um, on this one Make sure that this is one block away like that and put a redstone torch right in the middle uh, Put a block on top of this and put a redstone dust here So now all you have to do is power this block and I'll toggle all three. So when you toggle this on, as long as you toggle this on too, um, the only thing is you can't put a redstone dust here or else it'll freak out. Uh, so you want to, yeah, you know what I mean. Put one here, like that. And eventually you can just do that. And then no matter what smile he's making, It'll override it. 
So, yeah, and uh, we'll go over timing and everything at the very end just to kind of simplify because this is just a fill-in for his death line. Uh, we still have to do his eyes. So, yeah, let's do, let's get on with his eyes. This is a very long video so far. Okay, I hope you guys are with me so far. Uh, but now, to start his eyes, what we're going to want to do is I would recommend using the same block that you would use for his death uh, mechanic down here, his death toggle, rather. Um, so I'm going to use the same black wool, and we're going to want to put a block, three blocks above this lamp right here. So make sure that this is three blocks above. Uh, for right now, we're just going to put a little redstone torch. I'm going to change this later. Um, and then directly underneath this torch, I'm going to put a line of um, blocks here. Uh, for right now, just put a torch on either side of it right there. And what we're going to want to try and do is isolate each one of these pistons for his eyes. And it's going to be a little tricky to do one of them. I'll show you this one right here. Uh, but for now, we can easily isolate these ones right here. You always want to try and put a block behind it too because if you try to power the piston directly you'll end up powering another one or something else in the process. Um, but yeah, put a low of, or a little, a row of blocks right here with a repeater lining up to it. Same with over here. And now for these ones down below I just put a block right to the side of it with a repeater landing into it and just kind of lead the redstone right around like that. Uh, same goes for over here. And like that. Okay, um, now for this one, it's a little tricky, and um, I'll try to do the best I can to explain it, but it's, you see how he's like in a sick phase right now. Well, we want to try and toggle specifically this block, this, this piston right here, and it's hard to trigger a top piston when there's two pistons on top of each other without triggering the one below and the way I pretty much was able to do that was let's start out with putting in a sick line this is what's gonna be toggled whenever he becomes sick um, you can put it straight on top of this redstone piece and then just put three in a row like that uh, put a torch on either side like that with a bit of redstone going across and then directly to the side of this repeater or just like to the side of the torch whoops right here put a block and then a redstone dust on top of it same for over here and then for right now what we'll do is we'll just put a block right on top just like that so that way it toggles that piston um, the reason why those it toggled right now is because I broke a block behind it, but it's actually getting bud, budded by this block right here. And in order to toggle it without trying to do, you know, without toggling this one on top of it, because if I were to just power this right now, let's put a block on top of it. Um, if I were to go ahead and power this, it, see, it won't do anything. You need to send it some sort of block update to do it and I just kind of gave away what I'm about to do uh, but what you do is you put a piston on top of it to the side so now you're pretty much try doing what you were trying to avoid before but just moving it up one you know so you're now updating this one by powering this one up above so you'll even see in my other Wilson design that I have these two pistons here on either side they're actually crucial to how his eyes work um, and then now what we can do since we have this block here what we want to try and do is as an override obviously because we need to make it so that when he dies he goes into his death phase and when his death phase he has no I uh, eye, <laughs> I guess I forget the name, the part of the eye. Uh, but yeah, he has no eyeball. It's just the pupil. It's the pupil and then the zigzag mouth. So we want to try and get rid of everything, including if he is uh, healthy, because if he's sick, obviously it's uh, retracted already. So now we want to put uh, the the dead <laughs> the dead wire block, whatever uh, color you chose, and put a piston right next to it. Um, and you can actually just line it up right actually I think it's better if you do this yeah because you can just line it right up with this and just line it up with that so now this is toggled and it'll follow whatever rule is by the sick uh, the sick wire 
uh, as long as he's alive. You can do the same over here. Just lean like that up. Uh, we actually have to put the thing in. Derp. I'm clicking like crazy. Um, yes, so we need to put in that. No. What am I doing? Doing this. Haha. -ha. I know what I'm doing, guys. Trust me. All right, so yeah. That will go in like that. And he's pretty much set up and ready to go. So if I were to go ahead and toggle this, right now he's healthy. He's got his eyes out. He's kind of, you know, we don't, haven't set up his happiness quite yet. So we're getting to that. Um, but we're going to toggle his sickness on. And now he becomes sick. And you'll see his eyes retract like that. And when he's not sick, he's healthy like that. Well, derp. <laughs> um, and if he's healthy and we were to toggle this on it turns everything off regardless even if he was sick wouldn't do nothing because he's a retracted but if he is sick miraculously and he comes back alive it'll affect him so yeah um now i think the only thing left to do is kind of figure out the order of everything for his happiness and then the rest is pretty much up to the uh the player actually you know what um, for now that we have this set up what we can actually do um, just to kind of simplify the the death wire here we can actually feed it off of this vertical array that we've already made back here so let me get this block and we can actually kind of line it up right here so I'm gonna kind of backtrack it a little bit like this um, bring it up like that nice and level um, actually, no, you know what, bring it down. And now, if I remember correctly, I'm going to want to get rid of this torch, put a redstone dust instead. You can even do that, actually. And you're going to want to put a repeater, but set it four ticks, because that will be the right timing. Um, I'll have to look into this repeater. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, the only thing that we have left to do is just kind of figure out the happiness array. So um, I'll set up a little example for to explain it really quick. And then I'll, I'll try and, you know, conclude this up a little <laughs> bit faster than I have been. So, all right. Hold on one sec. Okay, so now for the last piece, uh, we're going to need to figure out which... Uh, combination of these lights we're going to need to trigger in order to make each one of Wilson's faces. So I can tell you to start we're going to need one and three triggered to give him a smile. Uh, to do a frown we're going to need to basically just do the opposite. Just, uh, just trigger light two and that will give him a frown. And then to get his neutral you need to trigger all three lights. And really, that's just the only combinations that you'll need to do for his mouth because his other faces are um, what affects his eyes and then his death. Uh, so it's really just those three combinations that you need to remember. So it, it does simplify a lot. Um, and in order to achieve that, I made a little key down here. Um, you can think of these three colors as the different lights. So think of his blue as the top light. Uh, the magenta as the middle light and then the orange as the bottom light and these this is what the order is of like what you how they need to be triggered in order to um, have the mood at least how I have it set up I mean you, you're more than welcome to change this if you want if you want your your Wilson to look a little bit differently at uh, different moods but the way it's that I have mine set up is that at uh, uh, seven happiness he's uh, happy six happiness he's happy and then five happiness he's happy but then as soon as four comes around he uh, gains that middle piece so for example we have one and three triggered right now so he's happy and like I said at four we get magenta so we get that piece right there which brings him down to neutral so we know from that logic uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this but uh, uh, the way the each stat bar setup is going to be through like a dropper dropper system so you'll be seeing a lot of the or you know a bunch of these in my build and it's just going to be triggered like that depending on how much is in this dropper will trigger like a redstone line around here um, so when we know that this is pa this is going to be unpowered past a certain point so we need a redstone torch 
to activate it. Whereas these are going to be unpowered at a lower point, so we need a repeater to activate these. Uh, because it's that once this redstone dust is powered, we know it's going to be powered indefinitely until you know it goes back this way. Uh, but yeah, so th this looking at this really does simplify it a lot, and that way you'll know exactly where you want each stat to affect his face. Um, if I that makes sense, this is really hard to try and explain. By the way, <laughs> if you haven't guessed. Um, so yeah, let, let's try and apply this logic to up here really quick so I don't make this video too, too long. Um, let's get rid of these. That was just for the light example. Um, so what we can do is we want this torch just to power the magenta. So the redstone torch along the line of whatever our happiness is going to be. Let's like set it up over here. It's getting late here, by the way, if you can't tell by my voice and me trying to restrain from yawning. Um, but I'm, I'm striving through this, guys. I'm trying to get this face bit done because the other bit hopefully won't take as long. This is just like the major redstone one and everything else is a lot of repeating circuits. It's like once I explain one, it'll make sense for the rest of them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more. One less, rather. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm stalling. Okay. Um, so we want... If it's going to be coming from this side, right? You want to put a... Comparator there. I almost had a mind fire. Um, you want to put... The repeater always comes first. So whatever repeater that you're going to want to toggle. What is this on? That's three, right? Okay. So on three... Over here, we're going to have the repeater come down. Right there. And then I just know, remembering that after five, that you're going to want the torch to come on. So the torch is what we're going to try and power first. And done. I figured it'd just be quicker if I did it off camera, and that way it'd save a bunch of time. Uh, but yeah, it, this is essentially what the, the inside of the... Uh, the meter would look like this is the the line of redstone and this would be the dropper that would be or i guess technically this would be the dropper that it's detecting from um but yeah the, it, this is exactly how it'd be set up you just kind of line up this repeater what right where it needs to go i just split up the line so that it's toggling both the top and the bottom and then this um redstone torch is just powering the middle and then what i did over here this is what i did on my uh, example too is that it's just a little bit easier to visually see it so by placing a block on top I'm just inverting the signal here like this is at a full 15 and on substitute so all I have to do to reduce the signal is by placing a redstone block closer to it um, but yeah it's just you as you can see it, it works perfectly just like in my other example um, as long as you have it you know arranged a certain way it'll toggle whatever it needs to toggle over here to toggle what it needs to toggle over here um, and then all you need to do, really, oh, by the way, I meant, I went back and checked, this needs to be at two ticks, so make sure that's at two. Uh, but yeah, you just take this, um, take, you know, you can, you know, just for testing examples, line it up to the front of your face. Oops. Yeah, like right there, why not? I always just try to get a good angle. And then make sure this makes it all the way. Oops. Ta-da! How about that, huh? What'd I say? Everything goes in at the same time, all the timing's perfect. And then like I said, you know, you can come up here and power this if you want to make them sick. Um, so come over here and screw around with this if you want to try it. You know what I mean? Like it's just this is as an example of how we set up. But it's it, once you start hooking this up to the other meters, it starts making a lot more sense to it. So yeah, that that's pretty much how you build his face. All right, that pretty much wraps up his face, guys. Um, 
I appreciate you watching. I mean, if you guys have any questions or if you have any improvements that you think would be awesome to make, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you liked what you watch, you know, please leave me a like. That would help me out immensely. It, you know, it really does help me get word out. Um, nothing is better than, uh, you know, word of mouth, though, guys. I mean, if you if you wouldn't mind telling your friends, you know, if anybody is a big Redstone fan, let them know. I mean, I, it would really help me out immensely. I do appreciate every sort of support that you guys give. Um, but, yeah, you know, it, um, I'll be around. And, uh, like I said, you know, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I'll uh, do what I can to help. So, yeah, I'll be back for another s tutorial sometime within the next week or so. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But work has been crazy, so we will see. Um, but, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. And have yourself a wonderful day and night. And uh, I will see you next time. All right, take care.